uh, you know, the Indian National Congress has always maintained that it wants a respectable seat sharing formula with the TMC in West Bengal. A respectable seat sharing formula means mutual negotiations, give and take, some compromise. But there should be no unilateral announcement of the seats. We should do it collectively together like we have done it in Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Delhi, UP and so on. So what can I say? I mean the TMC has announced. I don't know what pressures they were on the TMC but uh, as far as we are concerned uh, we want to strengthen the India alliance. Trinamool Congress comes up with their list and the biggest surprise in their list definitely is Irfan Pathan contesting from Baharampur against none other than Adhi Chaudhary of Congress. Now definitely it is Adhi Chaudhary for whom uh, the alliance did not take place and the biggest surprise of this entire list is definitely Adhir Chaudhary, Yusuf Pathan fighting with Adhir Chaudhary. Now TMC list as a whole definitely we will describe it to you to understand, uh, we will break down to understand that what Moto Trinamool Congress has in fielding those candidates. But the main interesting point definitely is Yusuf Pathan. Adhi Chaudhary is a myth in Baharampur. Till now, nobody has defeated him in Baharampur. And there where you actually put a candidate who is a celebrity, who is a super celebrity, who is a minority, and this belt is definitely more than 50% minority votes are there. So clear message to Congress that it is this guy for whom there was no alliance. And that is why to actually push Adhir down, this is the strategy of Trinamool Congress. Definitely we know Jairam Ramesh has uh, reacted to it by stating it's a unilateral decision. This should not have done. Irfan Pathan has tweeted. So, you know, uh, actual Khala Abe is definitely the Baharampur seat where Adhir Chaudhary will be fighting Yusuf Pathan. This was absolute a surprise of the day. As we have been reporting that this is the day where the candidate list will be out, let's now talk about, uh, let's break down the list and talk about the nitty-gritties of the list. Number one point, it is a mixture of old and new. Definitely the old guards like Kollan Manaji from Srirampur, like North Kolkata Shudip Banerji, they have got the tickets definitely. But on the other hand, we have 26 new faces. Out of 42, 26 new faces is definitely something which is new and which they have really taken a chance. Big names who were dropped, Mimi, Nusra from Bashirat, the place where Sandesh Khali is, that's a very big decision because Nusrat was never, uh, never gave his her time in politics and she was always criticized. So, you know, gone are the days when glamorous, all those celebrities will come and take the ticket and contest and then will not work. That's the internal message from the party that anybody cannot get the ticket like that. So Nusrat Mimi out. Significantly, Arjun Singh, 2019, he did not got the ticket from Barakpur. He changed his party, went to Barakpur, contested there, won with BJP, came back to TMC. He did not get a ticket. This is a big decision because Arjun Singh is known to be a Barakpur's Bahubali Neta. Now again, he will shift uh, his again. He will shift to BJP or not? That's the biggest question because in him, uh, in in Arjun Singh's place, a very new uh, minister who is close to the new uh, brigade, who is close to Abhishek Banerjee, he has got the ticket for Bhumi. That is also a very significant point of the Trinamool Congress list. And also uh, the old timers like you know Shatabdi, Roy, and 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 important names they have all also got the ticket you know, they, they have been renewed Aparva Buddha, Mimi, Nusrat they have not got the ticket serial uh, you know one uh, and, and the most interesting thing is one uh, IPS officer who actually voluntarily took retirement yesterday from Malda not Malda he was a SP Malda also at one point of time Prashun Manaji gets in the ticket Russian manager, a footballer, gets in the ticket from Howrah, who is continuing as an MP. So it's very interesting, clear message to BJP, uh, focusing on, on, on the young and the old ones, uh, keeping the old guard happy as well as the new guard happy too, and definitely, definitely, uh, you know, fielding up the uh, MLAs. Nine MLAs have been, one minister have been asked to contest. 
that's interesting one Rajya Sabha MP has been asked to contest that's interesting and in Tamilok we have a very young leader Sebastian Shubhendu the ITC chief Debangshu he gets in a ticket so it's a mixture of old new and and everything together a, 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 bu a basket of interesting features with former bureaucrats uh, uh, some celebrities old guard and new guard